LEGO League is about making science and technology as fun as a sporting event. I love it. It's a program where kids come together with volunteer coaches. They work independently in their homes, schools, neighborhoods. And they build robots to solve open-ended problems. Yes! You got it. There's no right answer here. There's, there's hundreds of thousands of answers here. I love the part where they actually create new ideas. And as QR codes that you can scan with a smartphone, and it will take you to um, websites that tell about the food. Each year, First Lego League has a theme. And so kids work to create an innovation that solves a problem in that theme. First Lego League is a wonderful way for our middle schoolers to become great inventors, great innovators, and really awesome open-ended problem solvers. At any qualifier or championship event, you see three different kinds of judging, and then you see robot game performance on mission based tables. The judging is robot design. They meet with mechanical engineers and computer scientists and explain their robot design. Just walking in there with a, a robot that you are proud of, that you know is out of the ordinary, and seeing the judge's eyes widen is priceless. Then they meet with other judges where they get to present their innovative project. So they've thought of something that's an invention and they go and explain their invention and get scored on that. They get to celebrate and, and share the really new ideas they have. What, what, what does a gerbil need? need? Then they meet in a third section called core values judging where it's not just about what we do at these events, it's about how we do it. We love and celebrate our gracious professionalism, cooperation, where kids compete vigorously, but they cooperate beautifully. And then they have three different rounds of the robot game on the robot game tables. So they take their robot that they've previously programmed nice. and they attempt to solve missions on the table. I'm just watching to make sure that their robot um, completes the missions without any human interference or interaction. These are not robots that are driven by a joystick. These are autonomous robots that do great things to solve open-ended problems. In that experience and the stories around it, they're carrying forward lessons that are incredibly important in their life. I think they are more patient than they were in the beginning. These girls started out expecting to be able to go build a robot quickly and just write some software and solve these missions. And what they've learned is that there are lots and lots of challenges, both mechanical and software related and interpersonal too. A few months ago, I think about eight, we were just, it was just a pile of bricks. And that we could put it together into something that resembled the robot. And what's more, that it could work on its own without us helping it is astounding. People ask us all the time why the University of Utah would be doing a Lego event with middle schoolers. Because we really believe that in a culture of innovation in a community like this, we are building the next science and technology leaders. We know we're going to be successful because these kids are going to be successful. The American economy's strength has always been in our innovation, our problem solving ability, in brain work. And this really engages kids in developing habits of mind that are going to be very incredibly important in their education, but also in the careers that are going to be available to them in the future. Before, I thought I was just going to be have an average job and do average things, but now I want to be an engineer. I want to work hard at something, and I want to use what I've learned here to help me solve my problems in the future. There we go. Victory!